Hi, welcome to Viking Preparedness. Welcome to Shofar Mountain. I am Pastor Joe Fox. Hey, in Revelation uh, twelve seventeen, you can read about some people uh, who keep the have the testimony of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, and keep the commandments of God, the Most High Yah. This video, this particular video, is for those people. If that's not you, this video is not for you. You're not going to like it. Uh, you'll think it's crazy, whatever. Um, you should just go watch another preparedness video. Um, but if you are a Hebrew Israelite, this video is for you. Uh, and I feel it's laid upon me uh, today. It's, it's kind of heavy. I, the Holy Spirit's been talking to me. Um, and, and see, y'all will get this, and that's why it's for you. We uh, took the decision, my wife and I, to move here. I invited everybody in my church to come, um, and one man had started coming to my church. He heard about us from Pastor Dow, and the, the church up in Kansas, Round Prairie Community Church, which I'm still the pastor of, but I don't preside over services very much anymore. Um, he started coming to church, and he brought his co-worker, who was not a Hebrew Israelite, and his co-worker brought his wife, who was not a Hebrew Israelite, and in three weeks, the Most High grabbed them, and they became Hebrew Israelites. Well... The couple moved within just a 15-minute walk of Shofar Mountain. That young man who brought them to Shofar Mountain is coming down next week uh, to live in a town nearby. Um, he just feels called to live down here. Um, another couple, uh, they came to our church up there in Kansas a few times. They lived in Kansas City. Messianics had a good job up there. The Most High grabbed them, and bam, they're now living in southern Missouri. They sold what they had. They put everything in their truck. They bought 10 acres of land. Uh, in the middle of nowhere, rugged land, and they're forging their way uh, down there. There's no jobs down there. Um, they don't care because they know the Most High wants them there. Another family at our church, they'd been to Shofar Mountain a couple times. They decided they were moving to southern Missouri um, with their wife, father, son, and I, I believe the wife is now pregnant with child. Um, quit good jobs and just moved to an old house that's a real fixer-upper on some really rural, remote land. What are they going to do? They don't know. They just know they're called to be there. Another good friend of mine and a good friend of Shofar Mountain had a great job in St. Louis. Felt the need to leave it all, and he moved to southern Missouri. Um, just dropped everything, moved his business, bought some land, and uh, he's living there, and he's probably going to let people come live with him eventually, maybe start some kind of community. Why am I telling you this? There are places that the Most High is currently gathering his people, Hebrew Israelites. Uh, one of those places is Costa Rica. One of those places is in northern Arkansas and southern Missouri and uh, eastern Oklahoma. There's another guy that moved from way out west, and bam, he moved to eastern Oklahoma. He's been coming out here. We've been talking to him, um, and he's starting a community in eastern Oklahoma. Um, there's a group of Hebrew Israelites that we met, uh, two of them, in northern Arkansas, um, that they just felt called to move to this area. The Most High is calling his people. And one of the places he's calling his people to is northern Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, uh, southern Missouri. Why am I telling you this? Because if the Most High is urging you to move there, um, maybe this is the kicker. Uh, he's got a plan. He has a plan, and he's gathering his people right now. Uh, read about the second exodus. Uh, I think that's going to kick off here shortly. People are starting to just come to awareness, come to an understanding of the way, and they're moving. Um, you don't want to flee Babylon too late. Uh, it's time to get your life in order. It's time to get your priorities in order. Start thinking about what's important and quit worrying about things. Start trusting in the Most High Yah. You know our well today that uh, I did a little video on? I prayed really hard as that guy was setting up. I went off on my own and I just prayed to the Most High. You know what? <laughs> Our last well hit water at 180 feet and we're pumping about a gallon a minute out of that well. Uh, this well hit water, hit a spring, a flowing spring at 20 feet and it's going over three gallons a minute. That For us, that's awesome. Um, that's a lot of water for us. He is blessing us. I met these people out of the blue. They didn't even know who I was a week ago. Bam, met them. Um, Hey, he laid it on my heart to tell you, if it's time to move, you need to move. The, this is not the only place, right? He's gathering his people everywhere. I know of another place. I just don't know if they want me to advertise it yet, so I'm not going to tell you. And it doesn't matter. You don't need my advertising. If the Most High wants you to move and he's telling you to go somewhere, I suggest you do it. Time's short. And you know what, Hebrew Israelite, I think I will see you out there.